kids that he doesn't take care of. The thing about Twitter that pisses me off is that niggas will say he shit like this without even knowing the person they're talking about. Duke Dennis is a convicted child, M, who doesn't take care of his four kids. Uh, like, do you live with Duke Dennis, nigga? Huh? The apology is never going to be as loud as the disrespect was. Mm. <sighs> Y'all can never let black men just be happy and successful. Uh -oh. So for those of you that are not chronically online like I am, the scuttlebutt in the news of the week is that Duke Dennis has allegedly gotten a minor pregnant. <gasps> shocker, right? Big shocker. Well, this story is years Fake. old. And it's already been debunked 50,000 times. To make a long and old story short, uh, back in 2014, there was a woman that came out on Twitter tweeting about how she was a minor and she's pregnant by one of her followers. And then in the mention, she goes on to mention Duke Dennis, who at the time wasn't the Duke Dennis that we do know, but will become the Duke Dennis that we know today. Now, you're probably wondering, Omar, if this is old news, why are you reporting on it today? Well, the problem is that it They're bringing keeps it up. coming up. These followers False allegations keep resurfacing, and we need to get to the bottom as to why they keep resurfacing. He went to he went to jail for a different reason, and people are trying to attribute that mugshot to him being with a minor, which crazy, bro. So forced anyway. Now, Duke Dennis did a slight address of the situation this time because he's already addressed it 50 million times before. Now, Duke Dennis has already addressed this three years ago, and his explanation back then was really all anybody needed to move on with their lives because ultimately they didn't really care in the first place. The only reason why I'm in this situation is because somebody killed my cousin, bro. And the dude who killed my cousin went to jail. His sister and his mama went to the police and said that I did something that I didn't do because they was trying to put me in jail because it was some animosity and some disrespect going Man. on between my peoples and they peoples, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Which is which is naturally understandable, bruh. Your, your, your brother just my fucking cousin. You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of back and forth going on, a lot of social media dissing and beefing and things of that nature. And to this day, bruh, Lord can strike me dead, but I don't have no problem, no bad feeling with the dude who my my cousin, I forgive him. The girl who the girl who did this, you know what I'm saying, who went and did that, I forgive her. I went on about my life. You know what I'm saying? I got my record. And now that nigga my rich. record is expunged. I was not guilty, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? And whole time I thought that I wasn't gonna have to visit this. But y'all see what came up. And, and that's what the I'm not gonna lie, bro. If if anything, 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 regardless happens in your past, you're gonna have to revisit it at some point when you get become successful, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. You're gonna have to visit it at some point when you become successful, bro. It is, bro. See, the problem with false allegations like this when they go unchecked, though, is that people run with all these stories and run with all these lies, attach them together, and they give credibility to these smaller lies, which can compound to slander your name. Like this tweet about Duke Dennis being a child toucher who has four kids that he doesn't take care of. This shit, th the thing about Twitter that pisses me off is that niggas will say <laughs> shit like this without even knowing the person they're talking about. Duke Dennis is a convicted child, M, who doesn't take care of his four kids. How do you know this? Uh, like, do you live with Duke Dennis, nigga? Dennis being a child toucher who has four kids that he doesn't take care of is like many piece together stories that only have any sort of validity or credibility because one false allegation didn't go unchecked for a certain amount of time. Nobody's squashing these things out. And ultimately they lead to your fan base switching up on you. But just like Sketch Duke wild. Dennis found out and continues to find out that there is no way to run from your past. Cause for whatever reason. Oh shit. I mean, he said that he did stuff. Somebody always feels like they have to bring up situations from the past in which I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I don't got shit. I do not have any dirt. But even with that, knowing that I have no dirt for you to catch me on, niggas is still gonna try and find something, bro. Your niggas are always going to try and find something, dude. Regardless, sus, discovered and put to rest. I think niggas the worst might find my, my kid pictures and shit. And other situations start making like fun of me for that, but I have no transgression that I have no shit like that. I can promise you that. that they frame it in a way as if it's something new or there's new evidence. Now I understand that 100 percent of the time, people also I don't think the sketch thing is that bad, bro. When it first happened and sketch admitted to being, you know, doing some gay shit with 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 niggas, bro. 
like, bro, that's his life, bro. Let him live his life, bro. What the fuck? He's still sketch. At the end of the day, his personality is still exactly the same as it was. Like, I don't know, man. People are going to know your backstory. Duke Dennis, Kai Sinat, any other famous person in the world is going to continue to grow their fame and their celebrity. -um. Celebrity? -um? What? Their star power. <laughs> and with that being said, new Stardom. guys are going to be brought to their platform and who they are. They will have to find out the lore. And so if Bro in that whoop. discovery of the lore, the <laughs> genesis the and the backstory boy, of your favorite content creator, you do realize that, oh, there is this secret dark past about them that needs to be brought into question. I think that's perfectly fine. Hey, no harm, no foul. I can't blame you for being ignorant. But there's a thing that certain media outlets do or certain platforms do is continuously bring up things that have been already disproven deep bunk and honestly dispel as, as false allegations as if they were something new to yeah the and the timing only seems to be right after no shit like a that, big bro. moment I'm happens in lie. their lives or a big moment happens in somebody's lives that they're adjacent to i don't think it's a coincidence that this situation was brought back up right at the end of mafia thon in which kai Sinat and anybody adjacent to kai Sinat had a lot of search and eyes on them it's not a coincidence but those no, that bring not. situations like this up as if they are new are terrible people and they don't really realize or maybe they do false allegations can literally ruin people's whole careers yeah. now in the same vein of this situation i was scrolling and finding some tweets and i came across somebody who was saying the most disgusting things about kai sanat and a skit that he had did with his oh, former God. friend or maybe current friend ron suno now i'm not going to depict the skit it was a childish skit and it was disgusting it was kai ron and a young woman or a young person on a stairwell simulating acts but what's nasty about it is this specific person who had tweeted this out about kai sanat kai is his literally a kid in this acts. picture y'all come on now he's literally a kid but what's nasty about it is this specific person who had tweeted this out about Kai Sinat framed it as if the person in question was drunk and Kai Sinat and Ron Suno took advantage of them now again this is again Kai, Sin kai is a kid all right bro it's another situation that has been talked about numerous they times. They try to make it seem like that skit was filmed yesterday at Kai's... How old is Kai now? 22? 21? They try to make it seem like it, that's right now when obviously that nigga's a kid in that skit. Has the story it's out a childish there kid. And it's Whatever. been completely put to the side. But again, at the end of Mafia Thaw, when Kai's name is at its biggest, it doesn't strike me as coincidence to say that somebody would try to slander the name again. You remember yeah. when the OF model tried to give the... This bitch... Oh my God, don't even get me started on this hoe. All right, let me stop pausing this so much. Interpretation that Kai Sinat was paying for her to commit sexual acts upon him, which ultimately that didn't fucking, make this sense. This is what I was just talking about in that other video, bro. I'm so tired of being on Twitter and seeing these uh, little clips or whatever, and you see steak every single time bro she was an of content what video did i watch that, that i said that in bro i don't even remember at this somebody point paying for sex i don't know how that's such a bad thing in the line of work that you do it almost it was one i watched like just now but that is shameful to I don't do remember which one. you're the one selling it i don't know but that whole situation backfired on her tenfold all right it's some dumb shit clout chasing weird ass shit going on right now bro but it's all right though no. i'll see you in court <laughs> <laughs> I see you in court. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> You're saved as Layla Red in my phone. Kiara Rush. I'm on you now. Kiara Rush. We don't we call you KR now. Alright? Go to November. Stop. Stop. Fly your artist. Fly your artist. Hairstylist. Facial lady. Fly your artist. Layla Red. $50 for your Uber, bitch! I got you a Uber, bitch! Fifty dollars, bitch! What you talk about, nigga? Stop. He didn't even want to. You know what's crazy about this situation? Kai didn't even want to do this, but she kept pushing him, and then he came out and did this. Stop talking, about, yo, what about my mother? Let me tell you something, bro. Stop speaking on me, bro. Now the whole situation divulged into a back and forth. Ah, this was he iconic, bro. Said, when this shit happened, bro, this shit was low key iconic as fuck. They screenshot this, screenshot that, and ultimately, what it came down to is two grown people decided to do grown people things. But again, this is about the framing and the false allegations that surrounded it, because the way that the OF content creator made it seem like is that Kai Sinat did something that was wrong. Now it might be something that's frowned upon from a certain subsection of people, because I know a lot of people were thinking, why, if you are so rich, would you pay for? And hey, maybe it's a valid concern and criticism. But at the end of the day, she was selling a product. He bought the product legally. 
with conversation and contract. What's and so bad consent. about that? And this is the thing with people in false allegations and trying to expose and expose culture. They don't even think about the consequences and repercussions of some of their actions. We didn't follow up on her then, but she's come out recently now and said the oh, whole shit. situation, she probably would have went about it differently. And I can guess why. Oh, really? You probably would have went about the situation different. Oh, really? Because <laughs> not only dumbass? was it regrettable and nothing to really talk about, but it probably damaged her own brand and her own image and her business of selling her. Obviously. Okay, so let me tell you. Let me just keep it all the way on it. So when me and Kasane got into that situation, he gave me an ultimatum. He said, either I can put you on or I can give you this money. I'm not saying I regret it. Would I have not taken the money maybe the second time around actually looking back how things... This bitch took money. This bitch took money over being put on by Kaisen that is fucking nuts, bro. Your head is so messed up for you to take money over being put on. It's fucking nuts, bro. That's nuts. If I had, okay, if I wasn't a chick, like... As a small streamer, small YouTuber, who is just trying to make success on my own with no handouts and maybe do some collabs once I get my numbers up. As a, as a nigga like this, bro, if I, if I had a chance and a nigga was like, hey, man, it, let's say Kai Sinat. He said, look, bro, I can give you 100K or I could put you on. Nigga, I'm choosing to be put the fuck on because then I'm going to make more than 100K, bro. Like, come on, man. These niggas, they, this bitch did not think, bro. I'm choosing getting put on. Now don't let don't don't make that seem like I want to get handouts cuz that's not what I'm about. But if the situation ever came up, nigga, I'm taking getting put on over some money because it's temporary brokenness for lifetime wealth opposed to a lot of money right now. And maybe you you blow all that shit because, bro, I know people personally. I know people personally that have come up on some money. And I mean some money to change your life type shit. And instead of investing it, instead of saving, they blew that shit all up in like maybe a week or two. That's all I'm saying, bro. That's all I'm saying. I would choose getting put on over like over like money any day, bro. Any day, bro. Because then once I get put on, I get that initial push and I can generate my own income. And then from there, it might be, who knows? It might be hundreds of thousands of dollars a month instead of a year. It could be millions a year. Like, that, that's all I'm saying, bro. Out. Maybe, possibly, not saying I regret what happened, but possibly because maybe I could have made my name bigger than just taking the money. But then it still was in the back of my mind, like, do I really trust this motherfucker to really do what he say and do, you know, be who he is? So I would say I wouldn't regret it, but maybe I would have changed the series of events. Now, ultimately, you lost some clientele and you are known as the OF snitch. When people do stuff like OF this, snitch. I'm that's what I'm saying, bro. You took the money and you try to slander the, the 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 nigga who gave it to you, and that shit did not do well for you. So yes, I think you probably should have taken the put on. What about false Instead. allegations? I don't know if they realize in the moment it's a selfish act and it's potentially career ruining for the person that they're talking about. And in some situations, some people's careers need to be ruined. But oftentimes I find these to be acts of emotion. So I don't know why they're thinking so short sighted for something that could be super detrimental. I'm thinking about Jonathan like Majors. the whole Johnny Depp, Amber Heard situation, which is complex, but that's another video. Jonathan Majors, please bring and that up. I don't even think about the whole Jonathan Majors. Yup. Nigga, I'm on the same way. I'm on the same wavelength. Oh, Meezy, I'm on the same wavelength. Situation where he's essentially been blackballed from a lot of different media outlets or filming companies because of the situation that happened with him. And even with Duke Dennis and Kai Sinat, doing nothing but continuing to rehash dead situations or come up with false allegations could do nothing but hurt and harm their careers from furthering succeeding. And that's not good. I come to the conclusion that false allegations and accusations happen for a couple of different reasons. And even though these things don't happen often, it seems that as people grow, as their celebrity gets bigger, Damn, it happens. 
becomes I've been more recording frequently for 14 minutes. Mistakes Damn. grow bigger and bigger as Five time minutes goes on. Apart. First and foremost, they can happen out of ignorance. Like I said in the Duke Dennis situation, <laughs> there could be, and most likely there are people who are not. See, this is why I like reacting like to all these videos be. because, so because I have a lot that to Duke say. Dennis addressed this situation in the past. They don't know that I this situation have is no longer shit that I need to say. They don't know that this has been addressed numerous times. They're just ignorant and they're finding out the lore of their favorite content creator. Now, obviously, with other videos, I always. I'm not one of those reactor niggas that just sit there and 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 watch the video and not say shit or just laugh or say one word and then go back to the video. Y'all niggas know that at that point, at this point, bro. If you be if you watch all my reaction videos, I'm a yapper, bro. Y'all know this. I I'm not one of those reactor niggas that just sit there and watch the video. And it's like, why is why did you even put this up if you're not adding anything to it? I'm not one of them niggas. All right, I'm gonna stop Maybe. pausing, and I can't blame because it's for literally been one, six and I minutes know a lot of pausing. Of say oh this, my god, they're just bored <laughs> and miserable in their home. I don't think that this is a big one, but there are people who are just miserable online, and you know they do what they do for God knows what reason. Bro. If they had a job, they probably wouldn't get through with doing this. Please <laughs> get a, a damn fact. job. Like Third and more importantly, <laughs> there are fact. people that just do not want people to succeed in bro, life. Bro, and ninety percent of these people have fucking jobs, bro. Oh my gosh, on the internet that hate for no reason. But I think that this. Is the extreme level of hate that needs to be studied as to why they do not enjoy seeing others succeed to the point where they Actually. would slander their names so much that these people wouldn't even exist on the internet or be successful anymore. And I think it's disgusting when I see some comments or some tweets about people that say, hey, well, because he voted for so-and-so or this person likes the Bulls and I like the Warriors and I'm going to make up false allegations behind them. I think that that stuff is just some of the most disgusting stuff. And ultimately, there should be some sort of punishment for this if that's what i said with the whole jonathan majors thing i think falsely accusing someone should have its own um its own consequence because like the bitch who the bitch who did that shit with jonathan majors he lost his career bro he lost his career nigga got dropped from disney and marvel before they even found out if the nigga was guilty or not which i think in itself is fucking nuts wait till you find out if that nigga's guilty or not because y'all y'all niggas let ezra miller slide um but i digress i'm going back to it but now that the charges have been dropped because they are they were obviously fake and by the way i was on jonathan major's time side the whole time because obviously that shit was fake there was evidence to prove that nigga was running away from her and she was the aggressor but what happened to her the charges are dropped they were absolutely fake and she had no repercussions bro nothing is happening to her she didn't lose her career she isn't being dragged through the well maybe by the niggas who supported jonathan majors but still like what 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 consequence did she have that is on the same level as the consequences jonathan major had for being falsely accused I'm so tired of hearing that people want to sue for defamation and they don't even know what they're talking about. I'm not talking about the creator of this video. I don't even know the full drama for what's going on and frankly, I don't care too, but you need to know this about defamation. Defamation is when someone makes a false statement about you to a third party and it harms you. To prove defamation, you have to show that whatever false statement that was harmed your reputation or your Jonathan business Majors. or somehow caused you damages. Being upset about it probably is not enough on its own. It's important to remember that truth is the ultimate defense to defamation claims. So if what someone said was their opinion or it was true, it's probably not defamation. Like I said, I don't know the details for what's going on here, but probably 90% of the time when I hear someone say, I'm going to sue for defamation, they have nothing to sue for and that is fake. I brought up that clip because I knew somebody would say, well, Omar, they could just sue for defamation. Well, there's no, a couple problems with that. One, like that lady just said, people have really, really weak cases for defamation claims. I mean, I've only seen them really work in one regard. That's the Cardi B, Tasha K situation. You know, Tasha K has literally been cleaned up by Cardi B for some of the allegations that she's made about, I think, her drug use and something with her kids and her marriage and stuff like that. Now, Tasha K has been beaten upside the head by Cardi B, and rightfully so. It's disgusting. But most of the time that does not happen the only other situation i know like that and it's currently going uh -oh. on is meg the stallion suing milagro for the whole tory lane's defamation case throughout that whole trial but other than 
don't even get me started on the Tory Lanez thing, that man. Don't even. I'm not even gonna Mr. get into Beast that. Whoever can't go around suing Twitter user X three five nine Y every time they tweet out something that is not true. They can't sue all these outlets. Beyonce can't sue Jaguar, right? You can't just go around handing out lawsuits because not only does it take time, effort, and energy, it also Money. brings some validity to who they are and more recognition to that entity that is tweeting out these false claims. Although defamation That's and false true. allegations are not that big of a deal numerically, it's still pretty harmful even when it happens to people. The only way that I think that people can currently combat these things is by taking the social media, uplifting and igniting their audiences and fan bases and divulging more of their lives so that people can be more trusting of them or say that this is impossible of them because they were on different sides of the country and sticking to being a good person is a pretty good general rule of thumb. Yeah, but it means I mean, being chronically more online and giving more of yourself to more people. I think about the situation that happened earlier this year where Kai and that got wrapped up in a whole bunch of allegations with his friends. It started off oh, with him brother. hosting a New Year's Eve party and then somebody at the party did something with somebody else in a room, allegedly took her to the room and took advantage of her. And there were some people that were taking things to the most extreme, saying Kai Sinat was in the room with this woman against her will. But there were also people saying that Kai was covering up this whole situation and helping his friend out. Should I what? explain it? Like, because it's like, bro, Kai could have helped find this Kai could have used his resources to find this nigga. He left her on red for four days, nigga. She had to find this nigga herself. You don't think that's up when Kai knows this nigga? But he out in the UK, like, talking about he, he got other to worry about. What the f the hell you got to worry about but i think as the story progressed and oh, kai Sinat himself came out more and more and spoke people realized that this is not somebody who was involved in the situation he wasn't hiding and he put out what was probably not the best way to address the situation but it was extremely genuine which made a lot of people believe and understand who kai Sinat is based off of the past actions doesn't add up to be the person that they are trying to slander in the media the person that's associated with me I knew this guy, I'm not defending him once again. I knew this guy for a very long time. We went on multiple trips. You feel what I'm saying? Never was this. I, I just realized like a lot of this, a, a lot of niggas that hang out with Kai be doing stupid shit and like that alone can ruin his reputation. His fucking cameraman, like th this shit. It's like, why do these niggas keep doing this to him, bruh? He's not that type of person. I'm not saying. Imagine I one of your best friends is the most successful streamer in the world and he's rich. And he like putting you on too, and you still decide you want to do dumb shit like this, bro. I'm not saying none of that. I'm not defending nobody, cause bro, the way she was crying to me on that phone, bro, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. I know how he looked. Scars on the face, dreads. You feel me? That's for the law. If that's for the law to handle, though, that's none of y'all business at all. And the same thing in the cameraman Chris situation. When Kai Sinat spoke about Damn, it, we people could really wavelength. tell that he was emotionally hurt and oh, damaged based off of the actions of these people. And it showed that he had no parts in it because he had been divulging himself on the internet, expressing who he was, showing his personality, and people were able to believe him and give him the benefit of the doubt and give him enough time to basically explain himself. I think Mr. Beast is probably the biggest example of 2024 of Oof. people putting a bunch of false allegations and accusations. Hey, I just reacted to that to shit. I ain't put no I mean, allegations on him. There was a him. good stretch of about two months where people were eating off of dog pack videos dog pack. where he talked about Mr. Beast being a part of these dis. I actually heard those dog pack videos were fake or were were false. I heard those dog pack videos were false. I I watched both of them, or I I watched the fraud one and the uh, the evil one. And that, that's it. And touching on kids or being a part of setting up kids with Chris Tyson. And then YouTube channels on the commentary side, putting out video after video after video after video where they were continuously slandering him with little to no evidence. And nah, just I wasn't slandering. Around I was just watching. To say in these videos. He'll be in videos. He'll be in thumbnails. He's, he'll be around. And whatever he, he, he is. He's wearing a mask. Why would you wear a mask? Why would you conceal your face? It's like, you, what, what are you concealing? That you are in registered under? And that your face could be looked up on a thing? How much more can you literally cover up a defender? Now, the Mr. B situation got so out of hand that Jimmy decided to take to the internet, semi-address some of these things with an investigation of his own. But for Dogpack, he had something special. He launched a full-on investigation and ultimately a lawsuit against him. Ooh. Are you gonna sue Dogpack? There's tons of examples of him intentionally manipulating things to not be true and posting online. Tons and tons and tons of that. Soggy has a, basically an hour and 27 minute video and an hour of it is just 
flat out proving manipulation and lies and caused a lot of harm to my businesses. I mean, I've literally had people pull out millions of dollars and then tell me it was directly because of his video. Don't worry. I instantly was like, can you send that in writing? So, you know, if I win a case or anything, I can directly point damages. No reason why. And I mean, it's just, it's just, I mean, what do you do if someone's just spreading misinformation about you and, you know, just causing harm to your business and like getting it to the point I where you feel might bad, have to because like, it's costing you so much revenue. It's like, it's not fair to the people in my companies. You know what I mean? It's just sad, you know? I feel bad because I'm pretty sure like he, he's, he's not that nigga that uh, Dalton Pack tried to make him seem like. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I can't say that Mr. Beast is perfect. I can't say he's evil. I don't know the nigga. And I think, I think if, if a lot more people thought the same way like me, where it's like, I don't know this nigga, bro. So I really can't give my opinion on him. I think we would be in a lot better of a place on the internet. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I don't know Mr. Beast, bro. I don't know him personally. So I can't say if he's evil. I can't say if he's, if he's not evil. I don't know him. It's, it's, an un, it's not a thing I take joy in. Every law firm I've talked to, they're like, this would be the easiest win they've ever seen in their life. I mean, it's like crazy. I, I had one tell me like, you could chop up all the evidence into like three, sue three separate times and win all three cases because you'd have enough for each. Like I, one person I was talking to, he's won like 67 out of his last 70 cases. And he's like, this would be literally the easiest case I've ever done. <laughs> like mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's because there's just so much blatant, you know, misinformation and lies spread like, I mean, it's crazy. And Mr. B said some things that are very interesting. See, Although for me, all I did was react to the video. And I gave my advice to what the shit was going on in the video. I never slandered Mr. Beast. Just, just so you know, Jimmy, you know, you know, if, 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 if this ever comes up in a conversation where like I, I get the chance to meet this nigga and do videos with him or whatever the case is. And just so you know, my nigga, I did not slander you. <laughs> I, did not, I did not slander you, my dog. I did not slander you, my boy. All these are big conglomerates, fuck with Mr. millionaires Beast. that make a lot of money. At the end of the day, they still employ people and feed families. But and I don't know a him. lot of people's lives based on again. I go back to that. Things that I'm not a parasocial nigga, bro. I don't know so Mr. Beast. Really so me I can't when be I like, hey, like dog pack. This nigga is not guilty, there, and I can't say, hey, this nigga is come guilty. back to the internet and say, hey guys, I'm not a credible journalist. I never said that I did real investigations on this internet and say, hey, I feel like dog pack. Be able to go out there, spread rumors, and then come back to the internet and say, hey guys, I'm not a credible journalist. I never said that I did real investigations on this. I use the word alleged to its full extent and that's how I'm able to get away with just saying things. Especially when you hear that that's people nuts. are pulling money off the table from a guy that ultimately heals blind kids. Like, what? why would we do that? And I'm not saying Mr. Beast is perfect, but it takes away from the ability that's to really get people for what they actually did when there are a bunch of people who are spreading false rumors. That's exactly you know what's what I crazy. Said. Like, you wanna know why I don't like give shit like that attention though? It's cause damn like, nigga, after the whole thing over with. Nigga look like Slenderman. All you can see is this nigga grills. And after it's all said and done, none of them gonna say sorry. <laughs> none of them <laughs> oh gonna God. say sorry or apologize <laughs> for slandering and shit. Just like the last time and the last time before that. You know, like the apology is never gonna be as loud as the disrespect was. So they just go. I think Duke puts a really good bow on why I probably hate false allegations the most is that nobody ever apologizes. That's true. Nobody ever cares. And when things like this happen, people just move on with their day. It's not even like they care about the victims in these so called alleged crimes. They don't care about the young girl that they claim Duke got pregnant and essayed her or whatever the case may be. They don't care about all the people that Jimmy ripped off or is putting them through some sort of torture chamber in order to get his job done. They don't care about the young girl in the New Year's Eve situation with Kai Sinat. They don't care about any of these victims in these situations. The only thing they care about is harming somebody unintentionally, intentionally, or whatever it may be. The thing that I hate the most about Twitter is that people don't understand the power that words have, and they think that it's okay to just be able to tweet whatever they tweet, log off, and whatever chaos they've started, it won't matter to them in the grand scheme of things. But if mm -hmm. they had to come back to mm -hmm. some sort of consequences and repercussions because of the lies that they spread because they couldn't put any credibility or present facts to the situations then i think that it would make people second guess putting out an article making a youtube video or tweeting out a tweet at the bare minimum they could say sorry to these content creators that they falsely accused but no, people like dog pack double and triple down on the fact that mr beast is some scummy guy after being proven time and time again that he is without a doubt wrong on the things that he's
Okay, so I didn't know that he I didn't know that dog pack was proven wrong on multiple occasions. But like I said, bro, I never watched the dog pack video and was like, yeah, Mr. Beast is an e is evil. Mr. Beast is a, uh, a fraud. I watched the video and I just gave my opinion on the things that I was seeing in the video. I never said Mr. Beast was anything, bro. Because that's how you're supposed to do as a reactor, bro. You're supposed to give your opinion, but not choose a I mean, you can choose a side on certain things. I've chosen sides on certain things, like with that nigga fucking, uh, 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 uh. Uh, fresh and fit fuck them niggas. I don't care, bro. I don't care. I don't care. Fuck those niggas And that's just my that's what I'm saying. It's like bro. I other than that though Like I didn't say anything about mr. Beast if I mean uh, keeping in the stack with you, bro He's claiming him about do we think any of these medias are gonna issue some sort of apology to Duke Dennis Based off of the claims that they made about him in this recent situation Hell it's a complex how long to give their BS apology to AMP Chris after they put the wrong photo of him on the article This nigga of course would say fuck niggas. No, I'm talking about Myron specifically The other nigga he's, he's a bitch, but he ain't he ain't like a uh he ain't like a, a lose. Well, nah, they, they are both losers. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't really know what I want to say about those niggas no more. School involving Chris, the cameraman. The least you could do is give an apology. But no, can't even do that. False allegations are some of the worst things in the world. And there has to be. Wait something. a minute. But no. My lawyer spoke to the president of Complex twice at 1 a.m. And told him about it. Someone on the editorial team. Editorial. I said it right the first time. Finally fixed it around 6 a.m. Plus, this apology five days late. Can't even do that. That's False nuts. allegations are some of the worst things in the world, and there has to be some sort of consequence or repercussion behind them. I don't know, bro. I think I think the hate on Duke Dennis is so forced, bro. I know this video had like a lot of other topics, but like I want to touch on the Duke thing again. There was even that time where Duke did an interview with somebody and was like, was Duke always this ugly? His eyebrows, blah, blah, blah. Like, nigga, y'all are just switching up now because like whatever the fuck. That shit mad weird, bro. Like, I'm not even trying to glaze Duke on some shit, but like that, that shit is mad forced, bro. And like I said, bro, they ain't, ain't never gonna be some shit like that ever come out against me bro i kid you not bro it ain't never gonna be some shit like that to come out against me bro. i ain't never do no no shit bro clean as a whistle which is kind of weird to say because whistles aren't clean bro niggas blow into that shit and spit all up in it pause all right i'm in this video bro